been a slight with this uh, stuff. So is there anything you have anything over for you before we're going to tell us? I don't think you should know, Ron. Well, isn't it so hard to be insane just to run the That's how I got here. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for coming down to the benefit, the Occupy Fights Proposals benefit. Suzanne? Yeah. Yeah. Did you say like, yes, I just wanted to say that while we're doing the strike, um, thank you very much for being here again. We have, um, I'm just filming you. Have uh, two more acts to come that are also fantastic. We have um, a couple of more homeowners to hear from. So we have one in particular who's ready to talk. Uh, Eugene, would you like to come up? Now we, we're very fortunate in the sense that when we meet these homeowners and we go through so much trauma together that we become friends and we uh, find all these new people in our lives that are just wonderful. And Eugene's one of them. So his wife provided and wife and son made all the food today. So if you can give him a big thank you. So Eugene's here to tell his story. Oh, it's great being here. I want to say it's really, really great being here. And uh, I'm one of those homeowners that was scared. I felt that I was alone and all like that. And when I uh, came to Occupy Fights for Closure, I was one of those weekend uh, people that always came uh, from City Hall. Uh, and I just got a great vibe from everybody, else, you know. And I said, even afterwards, I wanted to, uh, you know, I wanted to find a group that I could actually get into. But, uh, since I was going through this uh, home uh, foreclosure and all like that, I met Carlos, Susan, and a whole bunch of other great people. Uh, they became my third family. They, they became my uh, third family. And uh, I'm really grateful. Uh, they actually got me into a, uh, a trial. They got me into a trial modification. And this, I don't think this would ever happen. This would never ever happen uh, with Richard, Richard, Carlos, Susan, everybody fighting on my behalf. Uh, Sometimes I didn't even know where to turn to. And also uh, the sisters. Uh, I didn't know where to turn to and, you know, was scared. And especially being the, uh, the provider of a household, you know, if you're, if you're, if you wonder, you know, your uh, you know, wife, my kids, you know, they're looking, they're looking toward me. To, uh, yeah, what's what's going to happen? What's going to happen, guys? You know? And I have actually seen, uh, like my next door neighbor, uh, the sheriff's department coming and uh, being thrown out of their home. Uh, one of my wife's best friends, we didn't even know that uh, she was going through troubles and she just walked away. I think a lot of the people uh, out there, um, they, actually, they actually feel that they have done something wrong. They have. It's the banks, the banks that are greedy and all like that. that uh, and we have, to, we have to make them realize, we have to uh, come to the, uh, we are the voice of the people out there, and we have to actually uh, become to make them knowledgeable of what's going on. We have to make them knowledgeable. And I do feel that the tide is turning. I feel the tide is turning. And uh, I call my brother, who, he's, a, uh, he's a, a lawyer. And I explained to him what was going on, and he got upset. He really got upset, and I'm sure he told his other lawyer friends that he walked away from their homes in Arizona. And so, uh, again, I just want to thank uh, the Occupy family. I'm proud to be associated. Uh, I, I tell my, my friends at, at work about, about you guys, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just honored 
and it's a privilege to know each and every one. Thank you, thank you so much. Another beautiful testimony. Uh, fantastic, really inspirational. Is Carlos in the house? Is Carlos in the house? Carlos! Carlos! I'd like to hear from you again. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is a, a fundraiser for Occupy Fights for Closures. It's a benefit. If you're interested in the t shirts, the beverages, I know we have some silk screen going over here. A lot of fantastic things are being done by this organization. A lot of important things for the people and the homeowners. Do we have any homeowners here tonight that have been helped by Occupy Fights for Closures? Are there any homeowners here that have been helped by? Can we please get a clap, please? So I would like to hear some more inspiration from you. Tell us a little bit more. Can you give us a story about something that's happened and and how how you guys have handled it? Well, we have so many stories because usually people come to us when there is no more hope. People come to us uh, when they have tried attorneys, they have tried to go through the system, they have tried to do everything that they possibly know how, what to do. So they come to us usually when they have the sheriffs right at their door. And we have been very fortunate in to uh, have a lot of very knowledgeable people they have been able to look at documents, they have been able to look at that entire situation and fight back. I remember uh, a homeowner, in particular uh, the Perez family, they came to us on a Sunday. The family, uh, uh, actually the, the mother came to us crying, literally with tears in her eyes, saying the sheriffs are going to evict us tomorrow. And, you know, we decided to go ahead and help the family. She told me that she had t 10 children from two different marriages. And, you know, we said, this is not right. Something has to be wrong here because th these are working people. We looked at the documents and we reached out to Occupy Anaheim. And we basically put ourselves together, put our heads together and thought that. We uh, had a very strong opposition by U.S. Bank, one of the largest banks in, in the United States. But we knew that we were right because everything that we saw in the documents were fra was fraudulent. So we were able to fight back. Today the family is back in their home. They got a loan modification better than they even expected. Actually the bank ended up buying back the loan from the investor. You know, banks can do whatever they want to do. They have the power to do it, they have the money to do it. But it's up to us to push back and to let them know that we are not going to allow families to be thrown to the streets. You know, we can tell you here tonight, like to home after home, family after family that we have help. Let all families come to us under the same circumstances. The one thing we know is that if people are willing to fight back, we're willing to stand with them and fight with them. I know the families are tired, they are fed up of seeing how banks get built up, see how everything, you know, is, is everything for them and nothing for us. And as long as the people stand together, as long as you and I say, you know, we had enough of this fraud, we, we want to fight back, I think we can win this. We've seen this with different families, we've seen this with government officials, when we need literally confront them and let them know that it's not acceptable for them to run for office and continue the same practices. We expect them to represent the people. Here in California, the crisis it has cost $650 billion. However, you saw how the Attorney General set up for $18 billion. Something is wrong with that picture. Something is definitely wrong with that picture. So we are not going to stand quiet, we are not going to be on the side, we are not going to just, you know, roll over, we are going to fight back. So I want to thank each one of you, the, the bands that are donating their time, their talents, 
the artists that have come tonight to support us, and each one of you that have taken a part in this in tonight's event. I want to say thank you because you encourage us to move forward and to fight back. Thank you.